Hello guys and welcome back to Blood Hunt Central. Today is going to be a bit quieter on the news but we're going to look at the alpha results, concept art and D3T Limited announces partnership with SharkMob. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button and following us on Twitter for future videos and conversation. The devs release stats from the alpha. Over on the Blood Hunt Twitter, the devs released a number of stats that were collected during the alpha. For such a short alpha, an astounding 7,571 games were played in just 48 hours, and this meant during that time, nearly 300,000 vampires were killed with an average lifetime kill per player of 8.53. What did surprise me, however, that the most effective melee weapon was the katana. I know from a mechanics perspective that being able to deflect bullets is cool, however I would have thought that the Scourge Blade with its dash would have come out on top. Which one's your favourite melee weapon? Do you like the Scourge Blade or do you like the Katana? Let us know in the description below. And to top it off, 12,478 vampires died to the gas, or to the shark that was running around the rivers of Prague. What do you think of the stats? Were you surprised by any of them? Let us know. Shark Mob releases concept art. This week saw SharkMob release a number of concept arts related to Blood Hunt on Twitter. After their concept art Tuesday, they released a poll asking what day is concept day, and the community came back with any day is concept day, so they released an additional number of concept arts. These pieces really set the aesthetics of the game depicting the streets of Prague and the characters that you may find wandering them. Personally, I have the graveyard piece set as my wallpaper on my computer and I think it looks awesome. Which one of these is your favourite and do you think they capture the look and feel of the game and what would you look forward to more seeing from a concept art perspective? D3T Limited announced its partnership with SharkMob. Earlier this week, D3T Limited announced that they'd been working alongside SharkMob on the game's journal and quest system and will be providing assistance in improving the look and feel of the game for players as the release date draws closer. The head of design, Hal Sambach, gave this statement. From the very start of our collaboration with SharkMob, we knew this codev would be a good one. The game is obviously very exciting and we have plenty of people who love their IP, but it's the nature of our relationship with SharkMob that has really made it a great project. They're communicative, open, happy to listen and provide us with the ownership of our parts of the game. They couldn't have been more welcoming and have really been actively involving us in the decision making process. It makes co-development so rewarding when we're really adopted into a larger team. T3T is an independent studio that offers a work for hire development service and provides their services to games companies to work on their games. They have been involved in games such as Mafia 2 with 2K games, tasked by Sega to port the Sega Mega Drive classics to Steam and supported Stellar Entertainment when they remastered the Burnout Paradise for Xbox One and PS4 and many other games. It looks like there's plenty of people working on Blood Hunt now, and knowing this and in D3T's press release stating that the game is going to be released later this year, lends a promising feel for the game actually being released in 2021. What are your thoughts? Do you think it's good for another team to be working on the game, and do you think that we'll see a release in 2021? Shark Mob Recruiting as an added bonus this week, when we were coming to release this week's episode of Blood Hunt Central, SharkMob announced on their Twitter that they were looking to hire for a number of positions in Malmo, Sweden. For those that are in the games design industry, there were a vast array of jobs looking to be filled, such as lead technical artists, senior animation and environmental artists, graphics designers, character and marketing artists, and many more. I'll leave the link to the job listings in the description below, and I would like to wish everyone that applies for the jobs the best of luck. These past couple of weeks, seeing the community that SharkMob has developed for the game that isn't even released yet has, in my opinion, has brought a breath of fresh air to a somewhat jaded industry at times. Again, good luck to those who apply for the jobs and I hope the studio the best of luck. That sums up whatever Blood Hunt news we've seen this week and don't forget to join their official Discord for Blood Hunt. You can find the link in the description below. There you'll be able to, uh, to chat with other people in the community and also chat with the devs when they come in. There's always a good set of conversations going on and we can also leave our feedback in the dedicated feedback channels. We're still looking for submissions for features for our Top Kill video series that we have planned. If you're interested in submitting your clips, please see the links in the description below. And with that guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time in Prague.